ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, tonight, we've been called by a customer. Should hopefully just be a quick winch out, I hope. He pulled into the back of the truck stop and found some soft gravel and the front end sank. So hopefully we can uh, just grab a hold of the back of it, pull him out of it, and send him on his way. Here we go. Hmm, it did get kind of soft. Got to stop and take a look before we get too far in. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna stop and walk in. Trailer, trailer. Tra Is that you? Yeah. Wait a little. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Trying to what? It throws me off because the number showed up a brother wheel. Okay. Anyway. I see that. It just dropped and I just put on my brakes. You know, I mean, there was no uh, warning or nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, it just dropped. You've already got oil. That's from, uh, there, there was a, re Heart they've done a recall thing. Is there thing. a leak Yeah, already? it's a leak already. Okay. Yeah, and whenever I take time mm -hmm. off, I'm supposed to take it to a dealership. Yeah, uh, okay. But it ain't, uh, it ain't been going through the oil, you know. It ain't, I mean, the easiest thing is just try to pull it backwards and hopefully it walks right up out of it. Right, right. I mean, like I said, it's, there was no warning, brother. I mean, it was oh, yeah, like, this is this is all fresh. You can see, well, flashlight ain't going to help well, in the I, daylight. Well, I seen the tracks, and I thought, we're going to spin around here with well, me not being from what I under, that heavy. From what I understand, it's all part of that rice production facility, and they're putting in stuff on right. the other side of the levee, and right. this is all that you can see where the fuel tuck trucks come in and out. That's where I your trailer doubted, is. I but doubted myself. All this is new. I doubted myself as soon as I made that lift and started. I doubted myself, and then all of a sudden, and I just slammed on the brake. Nah. <laughs> One of them rookie things. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> well, like I said, we can try just taking it backwards real easy is first. It, it? I I hate to get over here in this soft yeah, I don't, tube. Yeah. I can lift you out if I need to, but right. if it if it walks right back out of there, we'll be fine. You, uh, you said it's not that heavy, right? No, that. Uh, it's medical. There's only 5,000 pounds back there in the back. The only reason it's loaded back here is that I back up. Okay. But, yep. uh, and then, uh, we got our uh, lost buggy. We was taking it to Tampa Bay's house. Okay. Uh, after I parked. But, see, you know, <laughs> this is not where I planned on parking. Oh, yeah. That's uh, no biggie. Like I said, Ronnie, Well, you, yeah, that's the best thing to do. Just stop. Stop now. You're good for now. Just uh, let me get set up and find a good, safe place to tug on it. Yeah, hey, anything over here, I'll put the trust. Yeah. I'll get in line with you back here. Yep. We went to school together years ago. Winch job for the new cables. Not a 
big jump, but it's a jump. It happens. Now I was pulling some guys out a month or two ago in one of the rollbacks. I got myself stuck pulling them out. Had to call one of my other guys for help. It happens. Too late. I thought, oh man. Hey Ryan. Yo. I'm sorry to hear about your name. Thank you. Uh, I am. Uh, I was down the road with uh, Taylor and they told me. And yeah, I'm sorry, you know, we're seven, you're a good man. Yeah, it, it's been a tough transition. Not gonna say it hadn't been. I've heard so many stories about you. Okay. <laughs> I told that back when we were young. So oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm proud to hear uh, who you're live to turn around and who you're at. I am. Okay. Thank you. It's taken a lot of, a lot of hard work and a lot of help from above. Oh yeah. I was blessed. I finally uh, found me a, a good woman. Uh, I like how fun and everything. I used to always say she was my drug dealer because she worked at a pharmacy for 12 and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> she was the town drug dealer. I used to always tease her, you know. But now I the pharmacy came out here with him. Yeah. Probably should have stayed at the pharmacy. <laughs> Well, my dad was a truck driver, so. Nah, I got you. No. We we uh we enjoy it though. We uh, uh we get out and do things. We eat for a lot. We enjoy each other. There you go. Because you know, people, as you, you know, puppies, people yeah. we grew up with and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, no matter how wild of a heathen I was, um, you know, not to say that some of them weren't, but as I got older. And it just took me longer to develop, I guess. But, <laughs> I mean, being honest, well, the people that I do the end, they're either worse, doing the same thing. Uh, I don't want to associate, you know. Yeah. I don't oh, wanna, yeah. Uh, you know, not, not that I'm saying that I'm better than them. Right. You know, well, you, it's your a, life changes and you, you've got choices. Everybody makes different choices and they, they each choice makes a different path. And, 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 and it's just sad. And if you, you're going to make wrong choices. It just happens. But if if you try to make every decision with the Lord's guidance, you know that that's the best you can do. And uh, you're going to you're going to fall. It happens. But you just do your best and carry on. That's right. Some of them just don't get it. No, they don't. Some of them never never learn the lesson. Unfortunately. Good he time. was total opposite up here than what I was. You know what I mean? I mean, he was. He... <laughs> well, we we were we were we were different, but yeah. But we were we were as far as teenagers, we were buddies. Weren't we? Yeah. Oh yeah. We were buddies. Yeah. I don't know how and many times we'd be started. out back at Tammy's and he'd be like, "Ryan Fry used to live right there." And then like like maybe <laughs> uh, whenever I started, uh, that, 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 that no good spell. Um, 
that's when we drifted the pole. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, where he, he, him and his family were closer than what me and my family were. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, well. I mean, you, you, had, you had good role models. You had good family ship to where, you know, my dad, you remember him? Looking yeah, for oh yeah. To beat me or not, you know, I mean. But, but yeah, it was, but I still made my own choices. Even as young. Right. Yeah. And, uh, but thanks to them, that it's got me, I ain't part of it, but it's got me to where I'm at today. Right. But anyway, go ahead and do what you got. No, you're fine. I, I don't mind catching up. I, I, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's it has. been a while. And, and, and like yeah, I said, you're seven years, five years, six years. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Hey, One of you says five. Well, yeah, it's six years. Okay. Six years. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm you're missing a year. I forgot. I'm, not, I'm gonna go get some change. You all work that out. I don't think that this wouldn't be a role model like David Beck in my life, uh, as far as how a man should be a father, you know what I'm saying? In things. Right. Uh, him not giving up on me, I would be like I am now. You know, I've been one of them that I was talking about earlier. Right? That's stupid stuff, you know? But they never gave up on me. That's good. This last year has been a rough one. We all have our ups and downs. I mean, it just... I'll get I'll get my remote. Just oh, hold on. Yeah. You said something about David? Yeah. The loss of David was hard on us. Oh, okay. You know, we uh, we had started coming around a lot more the last couple of years. And then uh, while David was sick, David would get out of the hospital, my dad would go in. Okay. We'd get my dad out, David would go mm. in. And that was the this last year. That's why I didn't... The five years and six years, I lost a year. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Now let's let's leave that open. That way I can watch it for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, her sister uh, works for a big trucking company up in Wisconsin. W and A. She went and uh, they wrecked one. We was yeah. here a couple right years ago. Okay. Uh, right yeah. And it was in the paper and all, you know, they didn't tell you about it. And that guy said, hey, that's my brother. He had a cat in the truck and they couldn't find it. Yes! He had to come down yes! here. Yes, yes, yes. He had to come down here to get the truck. What do you mean? The reason I had to ask is that was you all down the road because the numbers showed up and the flooded here. Really? Yeah. Remember, when I called it, I said, I could turn it in the truck. You do it. That's what that reason I was asking. All right, you got brakes released? As long as it starts climbing up out of there, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah, there we go. That old thing I was worried about, I didn't think about it. They're like, wait, mom and dad aren't in here. We're going for a ride, mom and dad aren't here. Go ahead and set the brakes, wait. Go ahead and set the brakes. Huh, that's weird. <laughs> Cause that's not where we're at. <laughs> not even close.
Let me pull. Let me pull forward and I'll make sure you can back out of it. Okay. Yep. days later and the cat was still in the truck wow. yeah it was still in the truck scared to death but it was still in the truck nice to catch up with uh, with an old high school buddy glad to see he's doing well all right I'm gonna head on back to the shop still got a little bit of work to do as always thank you for watching and God bless <laughs>